how do we enter into this fullness of god being fully possessed by god living under open heavens you have to come out of your jerusalem into the wilderness to jordan what does it mean <laughs> you have to come out of jerusalem to jordan you know john the baptist was son of the high priest he would have sought a position in jerusalem in the temple but he left all that old setting and he was in the wilderness a voice crying in the wilderness he was trained in the wilderness jerusalem in those days was that religious headquarters where all the religious activities were taking place and they had religious hierarchy great high priest high priest all those things you know there was an establishment there was a setup and everything was happening there the temple was there the wailing wall was there oh the place was important the system was important but there was a voice crying in the wilderness come repent the kingdom of god is coming repent the messiah is coming repent prepare your hearts prepare the way of the lord the lord is coming and people from the small places went but people from the city of jerusalem found it difficult to go oh we have everything here they had activity there but god was moving in the wilderness you know what am i trying to tell you today a lot of people are living in religious setting everything is happening they are used for that religious system they are used for that oh 20 minutes of praise and worship then 40 minutes of message and then prayer you know they are used for everything and lot of people are wearing religious mask i'm telling you the truth lot of people are wearing spiritual mask religious mask they think everything is all right they pray in the spirit they pray in tongue they fast they go to church they go to meetings it's all jerusalem it is all a religious system you got to get out of this into the wilderness wilderness experience exposes you wilderness experience skills you wilderness calls you for repentance you got to go to the place where you'll fall on your face before god and say god i'm a man with unclean lips i'm a man with unclean lives i'm a proud person lord i'm a hypocrite lord lord have mercy on me bring me down lord Lord I need help oh Lord I need an encounter with you Lord I don't need religion I don't need just spiritual activities I need an experience with Jesus I want you Lord I'm not upset with what is happening in Jerusalem I'm not complaining with what is happening in the temple I'm not looking to this man that man God I'm fed up of all that I come out of all those things into the wilderness I want God and I am willing to die in the water of Jordan You have to come out of Jerusalem into Jordan Jordan represents death to yourself If you come out of all your so-called spirituality to the death of yourself and willing to become nothing totally crushed by God saying I don't want any identity of myself I want to be in the state continuous state of nothingness please please when you die for yourself God will raise you up to a totally new realm when jesus came out of the water of jordan he got up into a new realm the heavens open are you willing to die for yourself are you willing to stay in the state of continuous nothingness see this time i'm using the word continuous nothingness i never used this phrase before you know why because you and i tend to come out of that state now and then when we get this type of message we are nothing we become nothing for a day or two on third day we walk out of nothingness and begin to talk talk this talk that talk about this person you know we do all kinds of things because we walk out of nothingness then our lives are not aligned to the will of god our activities are worldly our activities are human confusion causing problems to others because you have walked out of nothingness do you know why angels 
don't sin because they are in the continual state of nothingness that's why you see them falling down on their face again and again before god again and again before god they're falling down on their faces saying we are nothing we are nothing some angels long back rose against god walked out of the state of nothingness and they were thrown out of heaven and their destiny is lake of fire even in the bible you see people who walked out of the state of nothingness and you also see some people who re-entered the state of nothingness to angels it is not given the privilege of re-entering that state but because of the blood of jesus christ it is given to you and me to re-enter the state of nothingness king saul initially he was nothing but later on pride came into him he walked out of that state of nothingness never re-entered he lost his life king david he was nothing god blessed him and one fine day even he sinned against god in the case of bethsheba and he murdered uriah but he knew that the sacrifice of god are a broken heart and a contrite spirit he humbled himself and re-entered that state of nothingness and became a man after god's own heart i want to tell you today don't walk out of the state of continuous nothingness every time you oppose the will of god you are walking out of the state of nothingness two days you are okay three days you are okay third night you secretly oppose the will of god you have walked out of the state of nothingness re-enter that state and always be nothing before god fall on your face before god say i have nothing i can't win a battle without your grace i have no ability to live for you i have no ability to lead a victorious life i depend on you i am nothing please help me help me live in that continuous state of nothingness a person whose will is not broken before god is of very little use to the kingdom of god you should say not i but christ lives in me amen to god be the glory